being from the East Coast, what it brings to you is a top 100 school uh, with a Catholic education and the Catholic values and morals, uh, along with ha having the exciting opportunity to play in a first year program that will play in one of the best conferences in the country. So it's a great school with a great environment, school spirit, you know, a brand that not many of these programs that have added lacrosse have, have that national brand name uh, and along with an opportunity to play in the Big East Conference. Well, the great thing that both the men and women's lacrosse programs will add is home contest in April and May. So it stretches the school spirit from the basketball season to having home contests at the, in April and May. And I think that men's and women's lacrosse will supply a vehicle to continue that Marquette spirit. Well, they set up a program that gives their coaches a chance to be successful. They're funding it at the top level in the country. They went out and had a national search for the coaches. They're allowing their coaches to go out and, and have a tremendous opportunity to find great assistance. Uh, they're looking at their facilities to try to find a, a way to be successful. Uh, I'm just, you know, from the outside looking in, I'm just really impressed with the people that work here, uh, how they want to be great. They, didn't, they don't want to just add lacrosse to be mediocre. They want to try to win the Big East. And uh, I just think it's an exciting time for the lacrosse in that, that a, a school like Marquette, in an area where there's a lot of developing high school guys, uh, with Minnesota and Wisconsin and Ohio and Michigan playing some really top flight lacrosse. Marquette gives those kids a vehicle to be successful. You want to jump in? Sure. You want to stump me, aren't you? Yeah, no. yeah. Uh, what, what, is your extent, what is the extent of your knowledge on Joe Amplo and, and Meredith Black, and how successful do you think that they'll be here? Well, Marquette? Meredith is, uh, I, I got a chance to meet Meredith. I, I, was, I sat down on her interview. The thing that impressed me the most with her was how, how she really wanted the job. This was, you know, a lot of people have dream jobs. This was her dream job. She wanted to get back to the Midwest. She was coaching out, out west at the University of California, Berkeley. And she just seemed over, just really excited to be here and to try to build a program. Uh, Joe, on the other hand, we played against Joe's teams in the playoffs last year at University of Maryland did. So I know him from a competitive standpoint is uh, just a uh, very uh, – intelligent defensive coach great relates well with his players brings in a certain amount of intensity and uh, is, has a clear vision for his program I, I think Joe I, th I think Marquette hit a home run with both Meredith and Joe and I'm, I'm excited to see what happens I think that's perfect yeah short and I, I got a chance to meet Meredith I, I was I sat down on her interview the thing that impressed me the most with her was how, how she really wanted the job. This was, you know, a lot of people have dream jobs. This was her dream job. She wanted to get back to the Midwest. She was coaching out, out west at the University of California, Berkeley. And she just seemed over, just really excited to be here and to try to build a program. Uh, Joe, on the other hand, we played against Joe's teams in the playoffs last year at University of Maryland did. So I know him from a competitive standpoint is uh, just a uh, very uh, – intelligent defensive coach great relates well with his players brings in a certain amount of intensity and uh, is, has a clear vision for his program I, I think Joe I, th I think Marquette hit a home run with both Meredith and Joe and I'm, I'm excited to see what happens